Could it be? What grief moves you to invoke your god so openly? Ah, perhaps my prayers have been answered. Uh, could you help a humble monk pay his respects? You are well armed for a monk. I was a violent who now seeks to atone in service to God. Though I will admit, some of my old skills have served me well in performing his work. I can respect a warrior who has found a higher calling. What is your need? I seek a holy man, buried in one of the older, overgrown graves. But I cannot read the epitaphs written in your tongue. A simple enough task. I will see what I can find. It would be a very old grave, overgrown with weeds. Jean of Shiraz. He gambled more than he gained, but always shared his winnings. A generous man, but not one worthy of worship. Leo the Enlightened. His wisdom was only exceeded by his piousness. Ah, here is one deserving of some reverence. Monk, I believe I have found your saint. God be praised. I must retrieve the bones before we are discovered. I thought you were here to pay respect, not rob a grave. There is no theft. His bones belong to the church, and will do more good among the faithful than rotting in the ground. If your church has no objection, then who am I to judge? There is only one whose judgment matters, and I trust he will be forgiving. Hey! Stop what you're doing! Unfortunately, the Khalifa's men are not so tolerant of unlicensed grave digging. Explain yourselves, you filthy shits, or die! Hmm. They are guilty of worse crimes. God forgive me, but there are times when violence is the only course. On that, we are agreed. I'll silence you! You see? There was no other way to resolve this. These kinds of men understand only violence and cruelty. You have performed God's will, my friend. He will surely bless you with good fortune. I answer to another calling. But I will not turn down a bit of extra luck. My heart, Yassidi. It fails me. Let me find you some help. Perhaps there is a doctor I can take you to. Too late. 
Yet, there are still many things I must do. My life's work. A treatise upon the heavenly stars. I must get it to the House of Wisdom before my rivals claim it and steal my glory. If you wish, I can deliver the treatise for you. And then there is my beloved son. Today, he and I argued most bitterly. Without his forgiveness, I cannot. I will fetch him so that you can make your peace. No, the treatise first. Help me retrieve it. Please! I shall do so. My father was an architect. <sighs> he too had his glory stolen by a rival. Sit. I will find the treatise. It has three pages, each separate from the others. Please, find them for me. The wind is picking up. Profundity weighs heavily in my hand. Have you found them, Ya Sadiqi? Have you found the three pages?
Have you found them? Ya Sadiqi? Have you found the three pages? These numbers are beyond my understanding. There you are. That is all of them. I must return to the astronomer. No. No. My father. He has passed from this life. The spirit left him before I arrived. Though his body remains warm to my touch. We argued earlier. It was my fault. I came to make amends. But I was too late. And you? Who are you? A momentary friend. I retrieved your father's treatise, and now I offer it to you. He said it was his life's work. His... his life's work? Those were his words, yes. I see. And me? What did he say of me? He loved you. Truly, he did. But it was the treatise that mattered most to him. Lahanakallah! Your work will never see the light of day. It dies here, as does the love I felt for you.
Is that you, Bethan? It is all right. I know you. I cannot place your face, but you bear our mark. I am Neji, one of Mentor Rehan's informers. I asked for a more difficult assignment, but maybe I should not have. Tell me the problem. I tracked a pair of corrupt guards to the place where they take their bribes. But I do not think I can handle both. Well done so far. Between us, we can finish the job. Follow my lead. Congratulations. Your first official assignment as a hidden one is complete. I could not have done it without your help. Nonsense. With a little more training, you will do fine. You simply need more confidence. You really think so? I do. Only a rare few succeed perfectly on their first attempt. Do not give up. Thank you, Besser. I shall report back to Mentor Rehan and see what he says. What troubles you? My friends, my neighbors, all dead, slain by an evil spirit. Evil spirit? I saw her. A Se'la, a most deadly creature. You saw her? 
Are you certain? Yes, I, I am certain. With your true eye or your mind's eye, the latter cannot always be trusted. Taban, no matter the eye, what else could it be to take so many lives so quickly? It will not be the first demon I have met, nor will it be the last. Chinese markings. The emblem of the Khalifa's palace. The air. It's burning touch gnaws at my skin. The crystals within this jar. My guess, Salomoniac, or something like it. I should not linger. The poisoned vapor from the crystals has grown weak, but could still prove deadly. Something heavy was dragged along here. Men with wagons came from that direction. Merchants stopped here. Walter Deran was at the river. Something was offloaded. The tracks suggest it was the villagers doing. But the wagons aren't even aware. Allah walks among us. Do not become her next victim.
flesh blistered, almost melted in places. A most unnatural death. I must share my findings with the survivor. Huh. I am glad the Sala did not get you. Was it a hard fight? Not at all. Which is usually the case when the opponent does not exist. Of course she exists! There is no demon. Not here. It was the desperation of your friends that led to this tragedy. What? Are you sure? Chinese merchants passed through, pausing to water their animals, correct? At this point, your friends decided to steal a chest of jars, not knowing they held a harmful vapor. Most likely something the Khalifa's alchemists requested for their studies. When your friends opened the jars, the poison killed them within a few heartbeats. I know that look. Shame. Guilt. The jars. It was my idea to steal them. I... I thought they might hold something we could sell. I am sorry. Truly, I am. But now you must live with the consequences of your actions. What have I done? I have caused the deaths of so many. What are you gawking at? You sound like someone in need of help. I will take it when I can. Then I shall offer it. What is the problem? This house belonged to my mother before she passed away. It holds an object of great value. A treasure, you might say. A treasure? Ha! Suddenly he's all ears! Treasure intrigues me, but it does not rule my heart. Nor my ears. Anyway, unless I find a way inside, the treasure is lost forever. As a child, I was quite a treasure hunter. Now is as good a time as any to renew that interest. For a fee? So be it. 
after the job is complete. Where exactly will I find this treasure? My mother, a potter by trade, hid it inside a blue lusterware amphora. Lusterware? That is a treasure in itself. After her death, my grief was great, and I could not bring myself to enter the house and claim my birthright. Now I return only to find the place has sunk. Please, bring me what is mine. Your birthright shall be restored. your treasure. Ha! Huh. Was it greed or clumsiness that led you to breaking the amphora? If I had not broken it, you would have. There was no other way to open it. And besides, since when was a lump of copper considered to be a great treasure? Your ignorance betrays you. With this copper, I will make a hundred lusterware vases. Now here is your fee. Mine is a small forfeiture for breaking my mother's amphora. It held sentimental value, you know. <laughs> 